Welcome back everybody. Over the past few weeks I've been getting a lot of requests to draw a car. And uh, to be honest I've been avoiding it for a very simple reason and that is because drawing cars is really hard. And I think that's because it's, it's very different than drawing other products in that they have a very firm mental image of what they should look like in our mind. In fact, I think the only thing harder to draw than a car is a human. So let's set up a, a simple perspective for ourselves. I know you, you've probably all seen this trick a, a million times where somebody draws a box and then all of a sudden magically it becomes a car or an owl or whatever. But in this case, drawing the box in perspective really does help. It helps you to get the uh, center lines of the ellipse for the wheels right. And once you have that box in there and those, those ellipse center lines, once I do that, I put in this shoulder line uh, over on top of the, the wheels, which is uh, a line that typically defines kind of the, the top of the car from the bottom of the car. And then I'll whip that around the front and start to define the, the opposite side fender. From here, I'm starting to build out the front graphic, starting with the center, with the, this kind of central peak of a grill. And what I'm showing is this kind of grill becomes this light bar that hits the sides of those fender peaks. Down here towards the, the bottom, perhaps there's some, some airlet openings uh, for a lower grill with just a kind of a, a chin spoiler down here at the base that wraps under. And then as the fender evolves into the wheel, perhaps there's this little light catcher here uh, that, that gives a little surface development around the tires. Now that I have the lower body all squared away, I'll start to think about what's going on in the greenhouse. So notice with that A pillar, I pulled the line straight up off the center of that ellipse uh, the C pillar goes back towards the center of the rear wheel uh, and I have a nice start of a greenhouse. To pull that roof off, I'll literally just pull a line off the back of the C pillar and then get the opposite side A pillar in there. Notice how the opposite side A pillar is a little bit more tapered and that's because the greenhouse is tapered, right? So that the sides aren't parallel to one another. From here, I'll fix up my center line uh, and I'll start to come back in with some darker lines because now I have the basically the, the whole design kind of sketched in roughly without any detail. But I'll start to fire in some darker lines and, and start to draw through it as well. So here, let's get that opposite side B pillar, C pillar, the back window opening, start to hint where the seats would be and a steering wheel. I'm gonna hatch this down because I'm, I'm gonna have the light coming from the right of the sketch. Uh, so I'm just gonna so quickly kind of hatch in this, this uh, front windshield and start defining in some of those interior features just to give it a little bit of a sense of depth um, as I start to lay in some details into the sketch. Next, I'll, I'll start to, to darken that down even further um, just to start to give some dimension to the window there. And I'll come back into the wheels. If you guys remember a couple of weeks ago, I did a, a nice five spoke wheel tutorial. Go back and watch that one uh, to, to make sure you're, you're firing your five spokes in to your, your sketches properly. Now I'll start to add some detail into the sketch. So in that lower grill, perhaps there's these, these fins that reach upwards towards that light bar um, and give a little bit of a sense of detail. Let's add a couple more of those little, those little airfoil fins in there that almost mirror that, that grill coming down. Um, and so I, you see I'm starting to be a little bit more heavy with the lines. Let's come back into that light bar, really define it. Uh, as it comes into it, it form kind of a, a nose um, and kind of hinted at V-Grill. And let's throw, throw a little Nissan logo in there. Maybe it's a new Maxima. Uh, starting to define that, that V line that comes up off of the grill and, and rolls into the hood. Um, and let's just darken down uh, this ground plane line here just to, to ground the sketch a little bit. and give a little bit of a hint of the uh, passenger side tire. Again, coming in, darkening line work. You know, it's amazing how much, how much uh, line weight you can get out of a Sharpie just through pressure. And let's start to just do some light shading on this. And so on all the upward facing surfaces, I'm using this rather dry cloud blue marker. I kind of, I like this marker to be rather dry so I can get it to just really fade in and out and just give you a little bit of a sense of sky tone. And then I'm going to come in with a 60% and 30% cool gray marker to start defining the body side. So it's kind of, as that body kind of rolls under, getting some 30% gray on there, 
uh, defining the, the passenger side of that, that peak of the nose, and then just hitting the top of that with some 60% um, to really make it look metallic and give it some contrast. Uh, coming back in here on some of those fins, uh, and starting to define some of that. Let's, let's darken down the whole windshield as well, just to kind of push it back a little bit in space and, and get the wheels kind of dishing in a little bit. Coming in with some, some sky blue on those wheels, and then back with my Sharpie just to come back in and, and define some things. Maybe it's just give a little bit more of a detail to that light bar. Maybe it just kind of cuts in with a nice little jog there. Um, notice how I'm kind of touching up my center line as I go. Um, and one thing you always notice when I'm doing these is I'm working the whole sketch, right? Coming back through everything all at once. My favorite new pen, these uh, white opaque pens, I freaking love these things. Really nice to just come back in and add some detail back in, take back out of the Sharpie um, and in the marker just to, to get some opaque highlights. And, and let's get a let's get a really nice bold highlight on the windshield here, just, just some harsh light hitting it there. And let's indicate maybe there's some some LED fog lights going on in that one opening, just to give it a little a little pop. Again, now working back into that with the Sharpie, toning up some of those reflection lines. Let's hit the shoulder one more time just to really make it have this kind of strong pop to it. Defining that chin spoiler. Just keeping it light, right? Just just giving a little bit of character lines in here just to make it pop. And maybe there's a, a little bit of a reflection on this side glass here that hints at the, the horizon in the distance. A little bit more weight and width to our tires. And that's it, guys. A nice, light, quick car, car sketch. Now the key with these is to keep them really light feeling and to not overdo them. Give it a shot. It's a hard thing to draw. You can draw a car, you can draw almost anything. So keep sketching everybody.